Hey guys, it's Danger Debs, and I hate being an adult. There are seven reasons why I hate being an adult. To show you why I hate being an adult, I'll take you a tour of my flat and show you why. If you agree with these things or have more things why you hate being an adult, comment below and we'll do a part two of this video. Number one, washing up. I hate washing up sometimes. Seriously, this tap does not have hot water, so we have to boil our hot water in the kettle and it takes longer to do the washing out. I hate it like that. I actually like boil the kettle like about three times just to do the washing up. Um, if there's a stain left on a plate, I will do that last. I just hate cleaning plates like that at the start and it leaves like a stain on my sponge. I had to go out and get new sponges yesterday because our sponges that I used a few days ago had orange stuff on it, black stuff on it from like trays and pots and pans. It was annoying. Don't you just hate being an adult and you have to wash up? Number two, remember to pay electricity. Every so often I have to climb up and check how much electricity I have on this machine. In the UK you live in a flat or a house and you pay gas electricity. We pay electricity this way. So how this works is this is the fob. I'm, going to, I'm calling it a fob, this purple thing. I take it every so often to a shop and tell them to put money on it. I give them real cash, about £40 or above. Take the fob back and then put it back in the machine and it powers everything in my house. It powers the lights, everything in the kitchen, powers the Parasonics and the lights. It powers everything in my house so this is really important to look at every time. And it's so annoying I have to climb up and just look at it every time. The only good thing about it is like Actually, there's no good side to it. It's really hard to remember to look at this because I have to like stand up and then check it. I can only check how much some I I just see if I have my glasses on. I can't see without my glasses. Can't wait until I move and this machine is maybe lower down for me in a different flat. Number three, remember to pay your flat. We are renting this flat right now and we pay about under four hundred pounds for this flat once a month. If we lived in Glasgow, flats cost about six hundred pounds a month. What the we just live about 10 minutes away from Glasgow by train in Paisley. You pay under £400 a month in a flat. That's really good. Woohoo! Way to go, Paisley. That's the only thing good about Paisley. Flats are cheap. Because the thing I hate about paying my rent, I forget how to pay for it. I remember when I have to pay for it, but I forget how to do it. Yes, you pay it with the bank or on your phone. I just forget sometimes how to do it. So I have to drive my boyfriend sometimes to the bank to remind me what to say, what to do to pay for the flat. Number four and number five, the bedroom and the heater. In the morning, you have the radiator on or whenever you have it on. You have the radiator powered by your house. And this is one of the radiators we have in our house. But guess what? The one in the office doesn't work. Me and boyfriend are in this room all the time. So how do me and boyfriend keep myself warm in the office? Well, we have stolen our parents' radiator. This warms up the whole office. It's not that great, but it's the best thing. It's better than all the heat in our house. Powered by the radiators. At night, we really do not put the radiators on. They don't work really that great at all. They use up a little power in the house. At night, we turn on the electric blanket before I go to bed, and it powers up the heat in this bed. It's really good. I really feel hot. Like in the summer, it's so hot. And I feel like that in my bed. It's so good. And another way to keep myself warm in my bed, especially at night, is I've taken my cardigan and I've wrapped it around my pillow. And now my head doesn't land on a cold pillow. It's on a nice, not cold pillow. It's really good. But I still hate my bed. I, th I still hate the heat in this room. The radiators do not do their work in this house. They don't make us boil in the house. They just make us cold. So it's really cold in flats these days. And back when I was growing up, I didn't live in a flat. My boyfriend did not live in a flat. So we just learned something new. You won't feel warm in a flat. Number six, food and getting it. I hate getting food. I get it from Iceland or Morrison's and then drag it back all the way to my flat. It's really hard to drag my food back to my flat and talk at the same time. I find it really difficult to carry a bag and talk at the same time just because it's heavy and it, 
it's really hard to breathe. I remember one time I was in Newcastle and I was walking from the beach back to somebody's house and I couldn't talk and walk at the same time just because I was controlling my breathing. It was it was a long walk. The long oxygen was taken out of me. Anyway, this is the kind of food I get. For the fridge, I get ham, cheese, tatura, biscuits, ketchup, oh ketchup, um, and drink. In the freezer, I get roast potatoes, waffles, burgers, chips, mints, chicken, all that stuff for the fridge. In the cupboard, I have soup, rice, pasta, curry, and some breadcrumbs to make chicken. So yeah, that's what's in my cupboard and my fridge and my freezer and I have to get it all by just going to a supermarket. I spend about £20 or less. It's just two of us, so we don't have to pay that much. And yeah, it's really good. We eat a lot of pasta. We just love our pasta. It's easy to cook. The way we cook, we cook in the microwave, the hobs, or the oven. We have to be very careful with the oven because our alarm system is very sensitive. Like, if I just turn on the oven for like less than 10 minutes and the door is open in the living room, the fire alarm will go off. That's happened very, very lot of times. The hobs are fine, except like only one light comes on. And with the microwave, it's fine, it's good. I like microwaves. <laughs> and the kettle is good. It's our little friend. Especially when we have to wash up. So yeah, that's the food. And I hate getting it every time. I don't like the gym. It's just, I don't like going alone. You watch people doing their fitness and you have to also do that fitness yourself. So I don't go to the gym. The way I keep fit is going trampolining. And that is my gym, trampolining. And we're gonna go right now trampolining. Can't forget my socks, let's go. Now you've learned why I hate being an adult, you also may agree with me by watching this video why you hate being an adult. If you have any other reason why you hate being an adult, comment below and we may do a part two of this video because we all hate being adults. There are reasons why getting food, washing up, maybe getting electricity, paying your flat rent, remember to stay warm and somehow keep fit as an adult that you may hate to being. We've learned some tips and tricks. So please, if you have anything about yourself being an adult, comment below and we may do a part two of this video. This has been Danger Debs. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe. See you next time.